According to data, about 2 to 4 percent of Oklahomans are immunocompromised, but only a certain group would be able to get that third shot. There has been a lot of thought and consideration and study gone into their immune responses. Booster shots for the immunocompromised was approved by the CDC. So specifically, if you see in the immunocompromised group, uh, they are likely, we knew this at the outset, that they are likely in general to have a poor immune response to the vaccines. Meaning two doses of the vaccine doesn't officially protect them. But the booster is only meant for some in that population. That is in particular patients who have had organ transplants and patients that take immunosuppressive drugs for things like cancer, rheumatoid arthritis or other diseases. It may not include any like long term care facility residents or persons with diabetes or heart disease uh, as far as uh, like chronic medical conditions. But that can be up for discussion. I do expect that there may be some flexibility left in the guidance as well to uh, for between the patient and the doctor to decide who may need or who may fall into that category. But of course, we need to wait for the final um, guidelines. Dr. Pai says the state is still waiting for guidelines on how to administer those shots. In Oklahoma City, Shelby Montgomery, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>